Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So we're right back with week four of my prediction video. And before we get into week four, I just want to quickly, I mean quickly, show you all how I did for week three. Um, I ended up getting nine right and six wrong. The ones I got wrong were, number one, this Kansas City Chiefs and Chargers game. I started to go with the Chargers just to be bold, but I said, fuck it, you know, it's the Chiefs. I was rocking with the Chiefs, but, you know, that was an upset, obviously. Um, Atlanta and the Giants, I can live with that one because, you know, both of those teams are not good. You know, I just gave the Giants the benefit of a doubt because I know how trash the Atlanta defense is. But both of those teams struggle badly in that game. Pittsburgh, you know, once TJ Watt, I found out TJ Watt was hurt and Big Ben was playing hurt. You know, they already struggling with the O-line, et cetera, et cetera. And Deontay Johnson didn't play. That pretty much hurt them. And that's why Seattle capitalized on them. And, and I mean, I Seattle, Cincinnati capitalized on them. Obviously, Cincinnati is going to be a different team this year. Um, and then we got the Seattle versus Minnesota. Um, I wasn't really feeling it. I just feel like Seattle was good enough to beat that team. I don't know what happened. And then we got this Philly and Dallas. I'm not mad because that really can go either way. I feel like it's one that I'm missing, but oh well. We hopping right into week four. We getting straight into the action. And we got Jacksonville versus Cincinnati. I'm rolling with the hot boys, Cincinnati. They two and one. Um, they got some guys over that's trying to ball like Jamar Chase. I think in the score damn near every single week. Joe Burrow is playing pretty good. Joe Mixon is playing pretty good. Um, they got some players on defense that's stepping up. They got my boy Okajobi over there playing crazy on the D line. You feel me? Jacksonville, they just not in that mode right now. You know, like they trying to come up themselves, and Jacksonville just ain't in that mode right now. So I'm rolling with Cincinnati. Next, we got Washington versus Atlanta. I'm rolling with Washington simply because Atlanta just ain't good. You know, their defense ain't good. Atlanta is just not a good team. They're doing a little bit worse than they were last year defensively. Washington, I know they got Taylor Heineke, but they still got some weapons, such as my boy Antonio Gibson, who going to stop him. Who's going to stop Terry McLaurin? Um, I don't know what the status is on Curry Samuel when he comes back, if he was to come back this week. He not coming back this week, but they lucky he not coming back. But they they not stopping Washington, bro. Next we got Houston versus Buffalo. We ain't gonna waste too much time. Houston better than what I thought they were though. Don't get me wrong, but we ain't gonna waste too much time, man. You already know why I'm picking Buffalo. Next we got Detroit versus Chicago. I'm rolling with them Lions. I know I'll be talking down on the Lions, but the Lions are playing better ball than they've ever played in a long, long time. Shall I say? You feel me? They put up, they basically put up a run for their money against everybody they played. Even though the game they played against the Packers did get a little bit carried away. But they they low-key almost won last week against the Baltimore Ravens. You know, that's a pretty good team. Chicago, I saw the way they played against my Browns. The O-line is not good. Well, Jason Peters alone is not good. Justin Fields. Justin Fields needs a lot of work, and the offense in general needs a lot of work. Um, the game plan as far as coaching needs work. You know, sh Chicago should win the game. Don't get me wrong. And it's a division rival game. That makes it a little bit tougher, but I'm going to roll with the underdogs, Detroit. Next, we got Dallas versus Carolina. I'm rocking with them Panthers, you know. Um, but then again, ah, I'm like, uh, the Panthers playing some great D this year. Um, they playing great D, you know, and that defense is really helping them out. I saw the way Sam Darnold was operating with DJ Moore. Nobody was able to check DJ Moore last week. They also got Robbie Anderson out there, even though he's not really getting too much involved. They have been getting Terrence Marshall a little bit involved. But the big thing that's making me even hesitant is that Christian McCaffrey is not going to be playing. You know, that, that kind of hurts because they have CMC. All right, my bad, y'all. My stuff died. But what I was saying is basically, you know, if Carolina had Christian McCaffrey, I would be all in on Carolina. But... You know, since they don't have Chris McCaffrey, things are going to be a little bit different. Like you saw, it become a little bit different when he went out last game and they put in Chubba Hubbard and stuff like that, you know. But they've been playing good ball, but Dallas has been playing good ball too. So I respect anybody that's picking Dallas because this ain't the same Dallas Cowboys that I think we've been watching. But Carolina, I'm rolling with that hot defense and the way they've been having Sam Darnold play and DJ Moore. I'm rocking with it, you feel me? Next, we got the Colts versus Miami. The Colts, they down bad right now. They 0-3. And they have faced some tough opponents. They faced the Rams and lost. They faced the Titans and lost. Close games. They faced Seattle and lost. Even though Seattle probably isn't playing the best ball they should be playing either. You know, they haven't been able to close out some games. So, 
with that being said, I think this is an opportunity for the Colts to come out on top and beat Miami because Miami, they're down with their quarterback. They don't have um, two a plan. Um, even though Jacoby Brissett has been able to step in and play some decent ball, you know, um, Miami in general hasn't been playing the best ball this year. And they just have not taken that next step that a lot of us probably thought they were going to take. So I'm going to go ahead and roll with the Colts. Oh, shit, going to put my mark back on. There we go. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Next, we got my Browns. We're going to scoop this up some. We got my Browns versus Minnesota. So... Everybody know I'm biased. If you don't know, I'm a Browns fan until I die. You feel me? I've been around for a minute. But the reason why I'm picking my Browns specifically outside of bias is because we're the better team. You know, Minnesota, they, their defense is terrible. We have too many weapons on offense. I know they're not going to be able to stop them around. I know they're not going to be able to stop Odell. They may double him, but they're not going to be able to stop him. Downs people, Jones been able to step up. Mitchell Schwartz, I mean, I said, I said Mitchell Schwartz. My man's Anthony Schwartz. He got some speed. They got to watch out for him at all times. Like, we just got too many weapons. Kareem Hunt can catch the ball at the backfield and make stuff happen, you know? We just got too many weapons. Minnesota has an advantage because Kevin Stefanski ran pretty much the same offense with them, you know? So they have an advantage. They're familiar with Kevin Stefanski, and they're not going to be sleeping on us, you know? Our defense is not good. It's just what it is. Our defense isn't good. So if our defense doesn't play good and our defense is, and, and if our defense lets Justin Jefferson and Thielen do whatever they want, we probably going to lose. But if we contain them and get to the quarterback like we did last week, we can make something happen. So I'm rocking with my Browns. Next, we got the Giants versus the Saints. Right here. I'm going to roll with the Saints. I don't even know why I just took a deep breath and thought about it. You know, the Giants, they've been trying to battle. But if you can't knock off Atlanta... What makes you think you go come out there and knock off the New Orleans Saints, bro? The Saints, they did they win last week? I don't even know. I think they did win. But you get the point. You can't knock off the Falcons. You can't knock off against the... Did they be, you get what I'm saying? They're not beating the Saints. It's pretty much that simple. Next, we got Tennessee versus the Jets. The Jets are horrible. That's just what it is. They horrible. Zach Wilson has been playing bad. I got some film coming out on him in a few days, you know, or I might hold it until next week. But Zach Wilson looks bad, you know. Um, It's not all his fault, though. Nearly not all his fault. But the Jets are a disaster. That right there is enough for me to pick Tennessee. Next, we got the, um, the Chiefs versus Philly. Philly is not ready for this. It's that simple. Next. We got Arizona versus the Rams. This should be a good matchup. It's a division rival. Arizona and the Rams, if I'm not mistaken, are both 3-0. Arizona's playing great ball. You know, Kyler Murray's unstoppable. They've been able to get the ball out to not only DeAndre Hopkins, but to dudes like Rondell Moore and um, what's his name? Um, Christian Kirk. Don't really know what's going on with the run game because James Conner really a scrub for real. You feel me? Chase Edmonds, he, he cool, I guess. But you know what I'm saying? Like, Arizona been able to make things work. I don't know what their defense is looking like, but I know the Rams' defense is good. Matt Stafford has been able to elevate the offense, been able to get dudes like um, Cooper Cup on board. Cooper Cup has been snapping so far this season, you know? So this can go either way. I don't see any defense really stopping um, Kyler Murray in general. So um, I'm going to just go ahead and roll with the underdogs, Arizona. Next, we got Seattle versus San Francisco. Another division rival game. Seattle hasn't been able to close out games, you know. And it's pretty much that simple. They got the weapons, but they haven't been able to close out games, if I'm not mistaken. I know they didn't close out the game last week. That's for sure. So, San Francisco, they're they a good team. You know, they're just not as good as they were in the past. Definitely did put up a fight against Green Bay and tried to win the game, but they just didn't win the game. With that being said, um, I think Seattle is going to pull this one out. I'm going to give it to Seattle. Next, we got um, Baltimore versus Denver. Denver has a good defense, supposedly on paper. Teddy Bridgewater is playing pretty good this year. They are down at receiver. No Jerry Judy, no um, no KJ Handler, and Austin towards ACL. But Cortland Sutton is pretty much just enough. You know, Baltimore, they're not really playing that good this year. They're playing cool, but they're not playing that good. Um, it can go either way. I'm going to go ahead and rock with Denver on this one, though. Next, we got Pittsburgh versus Green Bay. Pittsburgh, man, they down bad right now. Um, man, they down bad right now. Big Ben is definitely on his way out. I've been saying it every single week now. But Big Ben is on his way out. 
The O-line is not good. I don't really know what the defense is looking like. Um, only only one, of the, one of the only bright spots on the offense right now is really Najee Harris, you know? And he can't even get off. So, with that being said, I think Green Bay definitely going to come out on top. But don't sleep on Pittsburgh because at the end of the day, they got some coaching experience, you know? Next, we got Tampa versus New England. Tom Brady getting his get back. It's that simple. Tom Brady getting his get back, bro. And last but not least, we got the Raiders versus the Chargers. I am loving the way the Raiders are playing this year. They are playing good ball. You feel me? They're undefeated. Um, the defense, I believe, is still pretty good. Um, they're finding themselves on offense. Derek Carr's having a great, I mean, a great year. This is probably his best year of his career so far. But don't sleep on them Chargers. The Chargers, I think they're picking up a little bit of steam. You know, they did get a new head coach, Justin Hub Herbert, my boy Big Herb. He, you know, he's starting to play better now. At least he played better last week. So, with that being said, um, logically, I should pick the Raiders, but I'm gonna go with the underdog and pick the Chargers because realistically, the Chargers got the talent to beat the Raiders. And if the Chargers can pick up steam, this has always been capable of being a good team. So, I'm rolling with the Chargers, man. So. Y'all got my picks here. Video is a little bit long. I do apologize for that. But I'm locking the picks in. I'm saving it. And I'm going to let y'all know how everything goes um, next week. So I'll be back for more content coming soon.